Well, welcome back. I am here with uh, Ashley Peck and Silver, and we've got Foxy here as well. <laughs> uh, we'll get to Silver in a second, but first, let's talk a little bit about Foxy. Yeah, she's this, so cute. She is adorable, and she's just a little love bug. She is eight years old, a little chihuahua, um, and she's just kind of looking for a place to chill. Um, <laughs> obviously, and she's yeah. just she's super calm. Okay. She she does kind of get a little timid in new situations, but um, like I've been hanging out with her for about 10 minutes now and she's totally Calm comfortable down. with me and comfortable. So yeah. we would recommend a meet and greet with any other dogs in the house and potentially kids as well. Okay, sounds good. Okay, yeah. now let's talk about the holiday coming up, 4th yes. of July. So there's gonna be fireworks going off. How do you keep your animals or your pets safe or comfortable in those situations? So this can be a scary time because it's loud noises, right. there's lots of colors and you know, if they're looking out the window. So we recommend just having a safe space in your house for your pet. Okay. Maybe it's in a lower level so that they it's kind of muffled a little bit more by the noises. Yeah. Um, maybe you turn on a TV or a radio. Um, and then another great thing to have is the thunder shirt, which is what Silver is here is Silver. wearing. <laughs> um, so these are great. It's kind of like a compression shirt, kind of similar to a swaddle for a baby. Okay. Um, so these just kind of wrap around and then they've got like a three layer Velcro system here. And then you just make it real tight. Um, I have a really nervous oh, dog. Good. He does great with these with thunderstorms, fireworks. So they do work. This is a great thing just to have okay. in general. A thunder so, shirt. And then yep. positive reinforcement. You were talking about that as yes. well. Yes. So positive reinforcement, that's how we kind of um, do all of our training here at the ARL. Okay. So if there's something that's loud or scary, um, give them a treat. So when maybe a firecracker goes off, hand them a treat. So then they associate that noise as something that they get rewarded for. Um, yeah. So it's kind of more that positive reinforcement. It makes it a little less scary and it may actually help them remember for next year or for thunderstorms or any other things like that. So, Great, super helpful. Yeah. And then just try to be with them if you can, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Awesome, okay, let's uh, go ahead and check out our <laughs> next dog that we have here. Yeah. He is handsome, this what is, is his name? This is Camo, <laughs> and he looks like he's Camo. So he is a beautiful, uh, four years old, he's a male, um, and he's just, he's got energy. He's interested in Foxy here a little bit. Um, <laughs> oh, and he got caught up there. <laughs> But he's just looking for a place to kind of run and play and have a good time. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you so much. If you yeah. are interested in either one of those pets, you can come on down or you can go to arl-iowa.org.